While the anti-Israel protests have continued to cause disruptions throughout the United States, Canada, and Europe. Most recently, the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. was defaced by anti-Israel activists, and multiple Christmas events have been targeted by these Free Palestine activists as well. Now joining us in the studio to speak about this disturbing trend is Yuval David, an Emmy award-winning actor, filmmaker, news commentator, and activist. Yuval, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you, can you just tell us more about the situation on the ground with these Free Palestine protesters? The situation on the ground keeps getting worse. For years, people have been talking about the rise of anti-Semitism being the canary in the coal mine. Well, you know what? The canary's dead. The coal mine has blown up. Maybe the coal mine was even a Hamas terror tunnel. And we are facing a horrible situation. I purposefully walk around with a Magen David around my neck, and I inspire other people to walk around with, with a Magen David or waving a flag like we have here behind us to be demonstratively Jewish, even though there are people who hate us, even though I get cursed at in the cities in which I live, in both Washington, D.C. and New York City, on a regular basis, I hear the effing Jew comments. Now, let's not make this about me. Let's talk about what the Jewish community is facing. There are police, uh, there's police presence and security outside of every synagogue, every Jewish day school. Jewish business owners are taking the names of the businesses off of their buildings for the sake of their employees. Uh, Jewish people are afraid because we're seeing that the pro-Palestinian and pro-Hamas protesters are attacking Jews. I was a keynote speaker at the Jewish National Fund Global Conference for Israel, which was one of the most amazing conferences, and I needed it from a therapeutic place to be around doers, activists, people who are doing something. Outside of this, we uh, outside of the conference, there were people who were banging on the windows, banging on the windows because it was the Jewish National Fund chanting things against Israel, calling us... Um, rapists, calling us pedophiles, calling us Zionist pigs, and calling us a lot of worse things. So the situation in America is terrible, it's getting worse, and we are extending our arms out to Israelis for support, even while, as today, there were rockets flying over Tel Aviv, even while Israelis have faced one of the worst atrocities that our people have, have faced and on this land. We need help. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's been interesting about these protests is that most recently they seem to have sort of expanded beyond just targeting Jewish community. It seems like they're filled with hatred. Uh, monuments have been defaced, as I mentioned. They've pulled down American flags and replaced them with Palestinians in San Francisco and New York. What is the goal of these protests? There's this major goal that we're seeing within the movements that are happening. You know, I can't even call it the progressive or the liberal movements that are part of this as well, communities that I'm part of, or the queer movement, communities that I'm part of, where you're seeing factions who are doing things that are anti-American, that are anti-Jewish, that are racist, that are bigoted. We're also seeing things from the Muslim, conservative, traditionalist, Islamist-supporting movements that are trying to take over. If you are ripping down the flags of a country, if you are defacing the monuments of a country, then you are against that country. If you're calling for gas the Jews to gas a minority within that country, and you're calling for the uh, erasure of the president of that country, being pro-Palestine is not what it's about. It's being anti-democracy, it's being anti-Semitic, it's being anti-Jewish, it's being anti-anybody who's not like them. The problem is, which you know because you do amazing Hasbara and I follow you and love you on social media, it's about educating people to understand what the words occupation really mean, what the words uh, apartheid really means, what white supremacy really means. People are shoehorning issues that pertain to racism in the United States into Middle Eastern topics where it does not make sense. Mm -hmm. Well, Yuval, I think we're, we're actually out of time, but I want to thank you so much for all your advocacy, all the work that you're doing, and, of course, for joining us today here in the studio in Israel. It's my pleasure.